Fix your hook in the vise and run on the olive thread. Cut or snap off the waist. Tie in a good sized bunch of marabou fibres. To keep the ends lined up and to avoid losing any, it might help to leave them on the stalk. And now you can cut the stalks off. Cut off the waist ends, but keep them for dubbing later on. Well, if you just keep using the stalk like that, you, if you use the same length of stalk every time, you get, you know, you, you, you fly. Tie down the ends and return the thread to the bend. Actually measuring it. But you are uh, getting pretty much the same amount. But sorry, Phil, does that mean you've taken the <coughs> tie in the gold tinsel, fasten down, and return the thread to the bend? Link together. So there's my rib. Pull some. Now pull off some marabou fibres and dub onto the thread. Wind this to form the abdomen. That's going to be your body. Rib the abdomen with the gold tinsel in open, even turns. Tie down the tinsel and cut off the waist. Sorry, Ken. You always wind your rib. The top the opposite way. But you've got to be careful then when you tie your wire in because when you pull the thread up, tight along to you. Sometimes you just can't open. Them. <laughs> <laughs> so all I've done with this, with this. Now tie in four strands of embroidery yarn to form the wing cases. Make sure they stay on top of the hook shank before cutting off the waist ends. So I'm going to tie it in on the top and I'm going to go back to just under the body. Now I'll get rid of the rubbish. Tidy that up a bit. Now the thorax, <coughs> this little That's off Adam's seal. Add a touch of tacky wax to the thread to help dubbing the seal's fur thorax. It's quite stiff and you've really got... Dub on a generous amount of fur and wind the rope to form the thorax. It helps as well. Now you can wind it over hand or you can use a rotary vice like this to just build up your thorax. <coughs> and you can see it's nice and long and fluffy. Pull the wing case. This thing, it, it does have a wing case and they are quite prominent which is why I've used four strands of this. So I'm just going to pull. Pull the yarn over the thorax to form the wing cases. Keep it flat on top and make sure it doesn't twist. Tie in behind the eye. Pull that nice and tight. If 
you put a couple of turns in front as well that will help lock it down. Don't try to cut off the yarn all in one go. It is better to nibble away at it with your scissors so that the resulting taper is easier to wrap with thread. Then you can finish it off. You can put eyes on these and gold beads and all kinds of things but this is really the best fly that I've used as a damsel nib. It really is, it works very well. Build up the head and whip finish. Use a piece of velcro to gently tease out the seal's fur to get impression of legs. Tease out some of those fibres so they look like legs. Add a drop of thin clear varnish to complete the fly. Mm. 